Hey everyone, Kobot Armani 456 here recording another video. So yeah, today giving you another news update. So yeah, um, turns out that, well, we just found out that um, Blister Thumbs has given their post E3 preview, and they're like a UK, um, I think journalist, like UK company, so they uh, tested out Sonic Generations, did a quick preview of Sonic Generations. And they have said that the game is not good enough and that everything, like the frame rate is appalling, the level design is dull, and that the game just doesn't play as well as the 360 or PS3 games. Well, we already knew this stuff about this game, about how um, it's just not going to be as good as the 360 or PS3 versions, but uh, the, that, um, the E3 version of the game was just terrible. It was a bad, bad um, beta version, really early build. And, you know, I mean, it's to be expected, but seriously, when I heard about the level design, it kind of surprised me because the DS versions of Sonic games have always had really good level design. I'm kind of surprised by that. And then he also said that Classic Sonic just doesn't play well, and then Modern Sonic's moveset doesn't work too well with the game's level design either because it does not play as Sonic Rush and that is what really surprised me like is Dems really trying to make this game be so much different from the Rush series because of all the criticism with Sonic 4 to that they're trying to make it all different now I mean I don't understand why this game is like how why like the game isn't supposed isn't having good level design or that Modern Sonic's moveset isn't working out well, I mean, doesn't make too much sense. But this was the early beta version, so we don't know too much yet about the game, which is still kind of con concerns me because we're very soon to the launch of the game. Turns out, well, what I think, I think the game might be delayed for the 3DS, as we've seen with Shinobi and Crush 3D. So it should probably come out this year, of course, because it's an anniversary game. But it might come out a few days, or maybe a few weeks, or a month later after the 360 or PS3 version. I don't know, maybe they want to maximize sales on the console versions or something like that. And then they maybe might release the 3DS version later. But anyway, I know, and you should know, to not expect the 3DS version to be anywhere close to as good as the 360 or PS3 versions. So, yeah. But anyway, I still am kind of excited about the game. I really want it. I want a Sonic game on the 3DS. And, you know, even I've, from what I heard from David on Nintendo 3DS blog, when he gave his opinions, he had a lot of praise for the game. And, you know, I think that maybe there is still hope for the game. Even because that was a beta version that um, the British Blister Thumbs UK actually gave it a preview on. So, don't just don't keep your hopes up too high but don't think that the game is probably utter crap because it probably isn't but you never know i mean dimps has been pretty good with ds games like they made the advanced series and the rush series they just didn't really do too well with sonic 4 because sonic just didn't go as fast but anyway yeah so anyway just stay tuned for that i'll give you more updates if you find anything else out also, Nintendo of America finally has allowed Club Nintendo to give out free ginormous AR cards. Actually, not the free. What am I talking about free? No, there are 200 um, points and on Club Nintendo, so kind of relatively cheap. They're huge, so that you can have a life-size me and life-size Mario. And I uh, definitely want to take advantage of that. But, um, uh, what is it that I found out about it? Um... Oh yeah, anyway, I already ordered mine because yesterday I had 190 coins and I was like, oh crap, I'm just 10 coins short. But then I remembered, wait, I can re register a Nintendo video and get an extra 10 coins. So I got the Club Nintendo card on the day it launched and it should be around here probably on Wednesday or Thursday. It's going to be in a pretty big package, so I can't wait for that. I'm really excited. And I'll definitely show you an unboxing video and show me playing that, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Might actually kind of get me into playing AR games all over again, that'll be freaking legit. Also, uh, turns out that on eBay, I, I don't know if I'll be able to put, 
put this video up soon enough, but on eBay they are having a huge sale on Nintendo 3DS. I'm probably not going to add music to this video so that I can have this upload fast enough, but on eBay, if you're interested in getting a Nintendo 3DS, they're selling them for $215 a sale. Free shipping, expedited shipping, and it's going to end in probably around 3 hours from now, so definitely check it out if you're really interested in getting a 3DS for a discount. Also, Amazon has um, suspended sales of the 3DS because of a hardware issue to where the hinge is kind of acting up to where it's too weak and won't hold its place. Nintendo says that if the hinge holds its place that there's nothing wrong with it and a lot of people are saying that it does hold place but that um, it's still quite weak for some reason and Amazon is thinking it's probably a problem with them shipping the item. So. They're just suspending sales for the 3DS for now. But anyway, if you, like I said, if you want to get a 3DS on eBay, definitely get it. Also, I have um, some new Beyond the Labyrinth picks right here if you want to check them out. Uh, really pretty for the 3DS, kind of show the 3DS's power. And also on Resident Evil Revelations, have some news on that. More news on the water sections. You have 360 degree control over your characters. You can kind of get weapons under the water and take on ginormous sea creatures underwater so it's really going to be pretty awesome uh... kind of made me when i heard about that it kind of just made me think about the monster hunter series on the Wii, to where you can kind of like take out enemies underwater and stuff like that like giant ginormous beasts so anyway yeah but that's basically it uh... nothing else really there's a new system update if you want to check that out on the 3DS, nothing really, just to kind of keep the system more stabilized. That's basically it. So, uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, Code Bounder 456. Oh, also, I forgot about Resident Evil Revelations. There are also, um, what is it? There are also elemental hazards to where, like, the cold, if you're in the cold climate or freezing, that, um, it can actually harm the player, and that, uh, Wesker may make an appearance in the game. And that, uh, the masked man at the end of the E3 trailer we saw is very important in the game. And that more info is going to be released in August. I totally forgot about that, um, just saw it on 3DS blog, so, yeah. Anyway, that's basically it, so, see ya, and have a good day. Oh, and also, check out my walkthroughs. Um, New Super Mario Bros. DS, I already finished that walkthrough, um, beat the final boss and all, so I'm gonna be taking that in today at, uh, GameStop to kind of get my 30 bucks back. And, uh, you know, so anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, my, the last part of the walkthrough should be up on Thursday. So, yeah, enjoy. See ya.